excitement. <laughs> I'm not going to explain why we were really excited. Okay, welcome to UMR. This is Mark. This is Katie. Hi. Before we say anything else, like and subscribe and share and comment and dislike. I don't give a shit. Contact, you know, pretend like you guys are actually alive. Like, we want to know what you think. Do something. Tell us th what you thought about uh, this entire season of True Detective. Tell us what you thought about this episode. Tell us why it sucked, because a lot of people believe that. Tell us why we suck. I don't give a shit. Just interact with us. It's the interwebs. You interact. That's how I would call it inter. That's... Anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, Alright. This is our True Detective uh, finale, episode 9, uh, review of the episode... Omega Station. Katie, do you want to tell them how this works? So first off, we're going to tell you a little synopsis of it, not giving away any spoilers and what we thought of the episode. We're going to give it a rating, one out of five. And then after that, we're going to open up and just say everything about the episode. So if you don't want to hear that, you better get out then. Otherwise, Skedaddle. follow so along with us. We open up the floodgates of spoilers. So after you hear us give our one through five, boom, you guys got to, we'll give you a couple seconds and then we're gonna tell you what happened okay um all right so quick little synopsis of the episode so how did it go it went uh you pretty much find out pretty quickly who killed casper uh, i'm not gonna spoil it now and it was a weird one <laughs> and kind of it caught me off guard and then it kind of goes to their exit strategy Who's going to make it out alive? Who's not going to make it out alive? How they're going to make it out alive? Who they're going to kill on the way? Who's going to get killed on the way? Things like that. And it kind of puts a pretty bow on everything. A confusing bow, yes, but a pretty bow. You can't quite tell what color the bow is, but you know it's wrapped up. <laughs> <laughs> it's finished. It's complete. It's yeah. the gift they're giving you. But uh, it's, it's really confusing wrapping. <laughs> Not sure how it's tied. You don't know what color that is. Okay. Anyways, um, did I miss anything? Uh, did I get synopsis? That's that's good. Yeah. Stressful little roller coaster of an ending. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Yeah. If you're here for uh, happiness, you picked the wrong fucking uh. show to follow. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Let's give our ratings. Uh, one through five. I'll go first. I'm giving this. Uh, I'm, I actually know yours already, so a little higher than you. Going for a 4.3. I feel like my first was unfair. Really? Yeah. Three. I'm not going to change it much. 3.9, though. 3.9? There you go. Got it. It was, it was better than the one I heard. I, I definitely got a negative, and that's why it's not at 5, because a lot of it's really good. But my negative also... Though it sounds like a big negative, I'm going to give it a little bit pass on it. It was really dark, and it didn't make me smile, and it totally is going to make me hate myself, and I might kill myself later. But I knew that coming into True Detective. I knew that already before this episode that I wasn't going to enjoy the ending, like, emotionally. So it's, that's why I'm giving it a pass. It's a good... That, that's what I like about it. It's a good thriller. It's like Breaking Bad. You don't walk away happy, but you walk away satisfied. Breaking Bad made me laugh, at least. <laughs> Sometimes. That's true. This show does not... No, there's not a... There's not a Saul. This show <laughs> desperately needed a Saul. Um, okay. Anyways, that's it. 3.9. 4.3. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Cool. Everyone got him? Alright, here we go. Um... Okay, how did it, it uh, started off with the uh, pillow talk. Yep. And, um, I like that. Yeah, Annie and Ray getting pretty close. Like, that was super fucking cute. In a, I, I a like morbid, morbid way. Themselves. Yeah, but it's like as cute as they can get because of how morbid they are as people in general. Like, yeah. They're fucked up, and they found a good fucked up partner. Like, I, I do like it. Like, I've never had a, like, I've never slept with somebody and then had a cigarette and then just like, so this is why I'm fucked up. I was molested. I killed the guy. Turned out it wasn't even the right guy. Oh, man. We're so happy. Want to run away to Venezuela? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, and so, I, 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 yeah, in, in their way, it was cute. I didn't mind that. All right. Um, moving on. Trudging along. Um, 
I can't remember. It, it, then it's just arrangements of where they're going next, or am I? Oh, um. Oh, they start. They talk to. He finds the. He finds the. Who's out? Finds out who Casper's killer is. Who is the brother of the girl? Of. <laughs> All right, they no, no. In I'm, the gonna, first I'm gonna. I'm gonna attempt it. Second episode. Second episode. For, yeah, I'm gonna attempt it. Ready? Here I go. Um, he's the brother of the sister of the. Uh, family with the jewelry store that got robbed a long time ago, okay, and it, then it, it got robbed by uh, Casper and a bunch of other people, and they all met her at a resort, and then Casper raised the girl up to be one of his hookers in the hooker thing, and then hookerized her for a while, and the brother got pissed, obsessed with crows, put on a crow mask, and burned his eyes out to torture him, find out where the stones were, and then he ended up doing it too much, killed him, and got rid of him. Yeah, and then went on a tirade. Or it was that right? Rampage, yeah. I got it all right. Well, you, yeah. For the most part, the, they were just robbed. The parents were murdered in front of the children as well. That's why they fucked up. Okay, it took me a lot of practice to figure out what the fuck the plot of the show is, which is my <laughs> biggest negative of the you, show. You did really good, though. Okay, uh, she had to correct me earlier. It's the only way I knew some of that. I'm not going to take full credit. Um, <laughs> okay, so then they meet up at the station... Bing, bing, bomb, boom, stab, 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 Arya Stark style. Um, you yeah, got anything about that? That's, that's pretty cool that you found out that Casper was the dad of both of those children. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or else it was the mom of Spider-Man. Somebody, he was the dad of somebody. He was the dad of the girl, at least. Which is really fucked up. Oh my god, I didn't even realize it. Yeah, no. That's what I was saying. You sure he's the uh, dad of them? The one that he was whoring out? I don't know. Fuck he it. He didn't know, though. I got most of the plot down. I don't need those details. Fuck it. That's some <laughs> fucking... Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> this show's so weird. Okay, and then after Omega Station, it's time to fucking steal the money, uh, meet up in Venezuela as the plan. So... Who here was, like, taking their bets to either the person sitting next to them or in their mind of who's going to make it? Because we did it the whole time. Yeah. We're like, she's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. He's... And then we were almost right. Most of the ones that we said definitely are going to die. Yeah. Like, there was a few where I was like, I want them not to die. It'd be really cool if they didn't. But, like, the show set it up. We fucking knew. We knew. When, she's like, when he's like, I'll meet you in Venezuela here, you're like, fucking Frank's dead. And they tell that <laughs> cute story, of, like, when yeah. they meet again. Oh, that was... I'm like, Frank's doomed! Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then Ray's like... I'll, I'll be right on your heels. I'll be there. It's like, Ray's dead. <laughs> like, yep. Uh, also, we thought he was going to die right outside the school. When he goes and sees his son at recess, and the music's all... And it's all tension tea, and he's like... And the kid's like... I was like, he's dead. He's gonna, he's gonna die now! What frustrates me is he could have gotten out of that situation better. Like, he didn't have to drive the car. Yes, they were around the corner, but who's to fucking say if he would have walked back to the school and found a different exit route where he could jump through some backyards and, like, do some ninja shit? Because he didn't even keep the money. No. He ditched the money right away. I was, Fuck it. I was thoroughly upset about Ray's death, obviously. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I knew, I knew, but God... And it, it, it totally looked like a suicide at the end, that he was totally handling them off one by one, and then he's like, sends the last message to his son, which is a tearjerker, and then drops it, and then just like, hey, bam, 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 bam. I'm gonna long range shotgun, you fuckers, that never works. And it, yeah, so. All I gotta say is they certainly know how to fucking make a man redeem himself. Oh, yeah. Like, now, talking about character art, arcs this show had them you can't talk shit about character arcs to this show this show had a lot of flaws but rachel mcadams grew in this in Fr and ray grew in this and frank a little bit and paul a little less i wouldn't say yeah paul did that much in the end he almost died yeah. still kind of we cool. learned more about paul is pretty much yeah. like mostly what we got he didn't really better himself much. He looked like he died the hero, but he really fucking didn't. Like, yeah. he really didn't. Nah, Paul's probably was my least favorite character. And I know we shouldn't talk about the newly departed, but no, Paul's probably my least favorite. One of my least favorite. Or the main ones. 
But um, anyways, so Frank's death, I really liked it. Like I, I don't like that he died. Just but I think that was a really was beautiful. beautiful way. Yeah. Yes, it was fucking perfect. Oh. I loved it. Like you got his life all in that walk. Yeah. But but you minus back two minutes. He did it. Why did the Mexicans pick him up at all? We had no clue. Why? Because he burned down their house? Yeah, like, because he, didn't, he burned down the places the, the, that they sold their drugs. Seriously? And it, like, all of that fucking money is gone now. Mm-hmm. All of the money that they yeah. stayed in town to get was... And then he gives them a million bucks? And even worse, why did Frank punch that guy over his suit? Because the diamonds were in there. Oh, that's why I did it, because I was wondering how the fuck he was going to get him out. But I forgot the diamonds were in there. When he stabbed... Oh, he his, di- stabbed, his diamonds. Yes, when he stabbed, you see one of the diamonds sticking out of his skin. Oh, they were right yeah. there in that pocket where he was stabbed. Oh, I totally forgot about his diamonds. Yeah, his cut of the money, pretty much. Because that was a lot. That was most, like, the big chunk of it was in those diamonds. And, like, yeah. the... The Mexicans had no idea what they left behind. They were... He still had that million in cash that he gave away. I totally forgot about the diamonds in his pocket. That's why we have our talks. <laughs> but yeah, then the actual death, I think if you're going to kill a character, that's the way to do it. With him being just strong and refusing to stop walking the whole time, I'm like, just fall, man, you're fucked! Like, if you weren't stabbed, you'd be fucked. You're in the middle of the desert. I love I love the hallucinations. Oh, like yeah. his dad fucking yelling at him about how he hates him. Now he's a piece the of shit. The kids from the neighborhood. It was good. And then when you see his wife, and that's you know because yeah. he goes from stumbling to all of this like standing and walking, and you know he's dead. And that's right? when his actual body kaput. <laughs> yeah. And it's just because he's got so much fucking spirit, and he just keeps going. I liked that like. How I felt during that, just how fucking strong yeah. they showed that Frank was. I definitely think probably, and maybe I have to see more, but I think my favorite performance ever by Vince Vaughn in this. I agree. I'm not going to say that for Colin Farrell, because in Bruges is a movie. Oh, God. And I like, <laughs> I like it more than Bruges, and maybe Seven Psychopaths a little bit, too. Um, but performances across the board, this whole show... All right, we can wrap it up. We talked quite a bit. Um, the ending, what do you think of the overall in Venezuela time hop? I fucking loved it. Just because, like, so they show you that Ray is not the father of his kid. Which wasn't a surprise. But Ray is the father of Rachel McAdams' kid. He absolutely has to be. That's what we're assuming who that baby was. I guess we don't know. It didn't tell us, but it makes the most sense that that is Ray and Rachel McAdams, Ray and Annie's baby, and that this was a bit of a time jump. Her hair was different, everything. It looked like they already had a rapport, the two girls. It didn't look like it was the next week or two weeks. No, it, looked it was, like it was, it was definitely quite a like bit. at least a year and a half to two years if later. If that was her baby, which it would only make sense yeah. if that was her baby. Because so. it can't be, it can't be the other girls. It can't be Jordan's. Yeah. That's her name. Jordan's. Oh. And then I was thinking Paul's, but they, they just swing they, back like, ah, I'm taking this baby! No, <laughs> they, sh- they showed that too because he had a highway named after him. Yeah. They were doing the whole like, who's switching over. But I really love that she was telling a reporter their story and gave him all of the evidence because I was... During the whole ending, I was wondering, like, how the fuck are they going to wrap this case up? Well, because the ending was like, hey, look, all the good people lived and... Or all the bad people lived and all the good people died. Yeah. Bye. And then he's, she's giving it to the reporter, like, good, good. So I really hope this isn't how true detectives in real life are. I hope this isn't their lives. Yeah. <laughs> their lives are bleak. And not a lot of happiness. Watch some stand-up comedians, detectives. Like, and get some life, you Like know? who? Louis C.K.? So yeah. Maybe be reminded of their own lives, yeah. basically. <laughs> like maybe it's somebody <laughs> happy, like Ben Bailey or something, but uh, Ronnie Dangerfield. There you go, laugh at him. Uh, and said to yourself, oh, okay. Um, all right. That's it. Um, overall, I'm going to surprise Katie with this, and then we can end. Overall, what did you think of the entire season? Um, honestly, when it comes down to it, I really fucking love this show. It hurts.
hurt me. It had me fucking there. I was into it. Like, even though it was slow in the beginning, I'm glad I stayed with it. Like, I'm glad I watched the whole thing through because I, I just want to rewatch it now. Like, I really do. And just try, try to figure it out again now yeah. that you know how even it ended. Even all the things that I missed out on because I know that they're fucking hidden in there. It was just too well written and too, like, overall, like, I, I fucking loved it. Alright, whip a number out. Overall, I'm going to give it a 4-2. Wow! Look at that! I was about to whip a 4-1 out. That's what I'm doing. 4-1. <laughs> she gave a higher at the end. Boom! That's awesome. Okay, yeah, no, everything you just said, um, I want to rewatch it just to see if I'm going to miss anything else. Mm -hmm. And um, is it better than the first season? I'm going to go with a no. Is it as good as the first season? I'm going to go with a no. Is it good? Yes! It's a good show! Stop... Yes. But people, that's the thing. You gotta stop comparing shit to shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you compare everything to the first season, True Detective, a lot of shit's bad. Like, compare it to fucking ninety percent of the shows on television. It's better. Well, and I mean, realistically, you look at like other shows out there too. Like, honestly, Breaking Bad. I did not like season two that much. It was the reason I stopped watching. There's for a, a, while. a couple seasons of Breaking Bad that are just. Oh, right. That, yeah. are, that are good. I'm glad it's First season and last that season are beautiful. Yeah. But there's a time where you're like, wow, so he's still working for Gus and they still want to kill him someday down the road? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. But, so. But it was worth sticking through and honestly, like, I'm excited for the next season of True Detective. I'm I can't wait for the cast and I can't wait for the setting. I think that this isn't a show to give up on and I think this was a very good season. Overall. Okay. Uh, we talked for way too long. Um, <laughs> got anything else you want to say? Uh, no. Comment, please. Comment. Something. Tell us what you thought of the entire show of this season of anything. Just fucking dialogue. Talk to you guys later. The most important thing. Bye! Bye.